Eminem defends his GO80 status in first VMA's opening performance in 14 years. Fans were quick to declare that the Lose Yourself rapper killed it as usual. Fans felt confident that Eminem had properly defended his GOAT status. As he opened the 2024 MTV Video Music Awards VMAs for the first time in 14 years on Wednesday, Sept. 11. The rapper, who was nominated for eight awards at this year's ceremony, performed material from his recent album, The Death of Slim Shady. He brought renditions of Houdini and Somebody Save Me to the stage, and also included visual references to his iconic VMA's performance in 2000 by surrounding himself with Slim Shady clones. While some detractors wrote on X, formerly Twitter, that they thought the performance was lukewarm and very forgettable. Most people seemed to agree that Eminem had absolutely nailed the assignment. His electrifying energy and stage presence set the tone for an unforgettable night. One fan wrote on X, in response to a clip from the performance that the VMA shared on the social media platform. What a way to kick off the show. He's the GOAT, period. That is a hill I will die on. An ex-user tweeted as another echoed their GOAT declaration. Well done Slim Shady. One person cheered. He actually did in fact kill this. A fan said as another agreed, tweeting. He killed it as usual. Even Taylor Swift, who was in the audience at this year's ceremony, seemed to love the performance. Video footage shared on X by a Swift fan account showed the pop superstar dancing along as Eminem rapped on stage. Eminem has a long history of VMA performances and appearances. While his debut at the awards show dates back to 1999, he hasn't opened the annual ceremony since 2010, when he performed Not Afraid and Love the Way You Lie with Rihanna. He returned in 2012 for a surprise appearance during Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg's VMA's performance, and again in 2022, when he and Snoop teamed up for their joint track from the D2, the LBC. It was Eminem's VMA's number from 2000 that was nominated for one of this year's new awards, Most Iconic Performance. <laughs> <laughs>